Hey guys, and welcome to part one of my Sims 4 Let's Play. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I, uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. So I apologize ahead of time if I'm like a little fangirl and I'm just like squealing with delight over every little thing because I literally haven't played the game at all yet. So yeah, I'm super excited. So first of all, you might notice that Peyton it looks a little different. Um, that's because I guess the custom content that was made with the demo won't work right in the full game because they changed the mesh ID number. So I don't know. I don't make custom content. I download it. I'm not, I don't know much about it. All I know is that they advised you not to use custom content that you got with the demo in the full game. So that's why she doesn't have any custom content on her. So she doesn't have her cute outfit. I know, I know. <laughs> and, um, she doesn't have her custom content eyebrows and all of that, but I still think she's really cute. So anyways, let's go ahead. This gives us a good chance to kind of see everything that wasn't in the demo. So um, let's see the hair. I don't know if they have new hair or not. Um, it doesn't look like they do. Do they? Oh, wait, there's this one. Whoa, that is... <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one um let's see i think that's it was it just one new hairstyle okay um oh this one they have a new one that's kind of like this one only it's shaved on the side so that's kind of cool <laughs> So, okay, that's, so that's all they have for hair. So they really didn't add too much more hair to the full game, but that's okay. Now I got to find the hair she had. There we go. All right. And what now? Okay. Hats. Okay. So I do have the digital deluxe version, which means that I got like some extra content stuff, um, by pre-ordering digital deluxe. So she could have this lovely hat. <laughs> this hat, <laughs> this one, <laughs> they have these cute animal hats. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So this is a hat that came with the base game. Um, what else? Is that a new one? I think that's a new one. I could be wrong. Oh, this one is fancy. That is fancy. <laughs> Wow, they have a lot of hats in the base game. I didn't know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she looks like a mobster's girlfriend. Oh, yes. Rey Mysterio. I, yeah, he's a wrestler. In case you didn't know. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Okay. And then we have accessories. Um, they have a lot of new earrings and stuff. Uh, you can't really see with her hair like that, but... Oh, here we go. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I like these. I like them in gold. Oh, the plum bob earrings. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. These are the ones that she had. I like these ones. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to... Wow, these are really pretty. I'm just going to take you guys through all of the content um, that is in the full game. Oh my god, <laughs> I love those. <laughs> um, just in case you guys are curious. Um, but I'm not going to spend this whole part in Create a Sim. So don't worry about that. Uh, we've all seen enough Create a Sim, I think. And these glasses are super cute. I really like those. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Necklaces. They actually do have some more necklaces. Oh, they have a heart necklace. Oh, that's so cute. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and give her what she had, because that's what I liked. That's what I liked. Um, and we'll give her back that, and we'll go ahead and get her her hair once more. I know, guys, this part's going to be kind of frantic, because this is my first time playing, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I just wanted to share my excitement <laughs> with all of you. All right, so this is the makeup. <laughs> all right, so first of all, we have eyes. 
And it looks like all the same stuff that came with the demo. So that's kind of neat. Uh, same with eyeliner and cheeks. And, oh, is there one more lip lipstick? Looks like there is one more lipstick. I actually really like this one. It's not as glossy as this one, and it's not as plain as this one. So I actually really like that one. I like this one a lot. I don't know. It looks natural. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, you guys. I have no idea how excited I am right now. <laughs> I'm trying not to squeal and annoy all of you, but I'm really, really excited. All right, let's go ahead and give her this one. And then face paint came with the deluxe, digital deluxe. So if you want to look like a clown, you good for you because you can do it. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and look at clothing. So I know that there's going to be quite a few more uh, clothing items, I believe. So let's go ahead and look at them. All righty. So this is like a cute button up, very professional looking. I like that. I love this. I actually have a shirt that looks just like this, only it's in, um, it's in a purple. Yes, I like that a lot. Um, oh, this is super cute. This is super cute. We have to try to find her a new outfit since, um, you know, her outfit was custom content before and we have to change that up. So this is like a flannel shirt for girls. I kind of like this shirt. I don't know. It's like really plain, but I like it. And I like that it tucks into the shorts. I think that's really cool. All right. In case you are feeling patriotic, it's a great shirt for you. Uh, crazy cat lady sweater. <laughs> have to have that. This shirt. I am in love with this shirt. I saw it back whenever they first um, were doing releasing screenshots. I saw this shirt and I'm like, I want this shirt in my life. So, <laughs> maybe we'll go with one of that shirt. I'm not sure yet. All right. This is like a little peasant blouse or whatever you want to call it. I think that's what they called. Super cute. Another simple t-shirt. A hoodie. Long sleeve shirt. This is a really pretty shirt. I like this a lot. Oh, I love the back. The back is super pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, preppy. Yes, I love this. This looks like <laughs> straight out of some preppy catalog somewhere. I love that. Um, so they have this floral, but they also have it in like plain colors. Super pretty. I like how shiny it is. And I actually kind of like the floral. I like that. Um, ooh, I love this long sleeve shirt. I like it a lot. That's really, I love the detail of it, like the pattern of it, how it's like, I don't know. Ooh, the back. I love the back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just super into, I'm just super excited. Ah. Oh, this is a really pretty one too. Again with the back. Again with the back. Yes. I love the back. Ooh, fancy bra. <laughs> fancy. All right. A polo shirt. Very nice. Oh, this is super cute. Ooh, very professional looking. I like that a lot. I bet it would cool in black too. Yeah. Cool. Another bra or I don't know. It looks like a bra. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Um, wow, they have a lot of clothing in the base game. They really were not exaggerating at all about how much clothing is in the base game. So much stuff. I like this shirt. I do like that shirt. Tank top. Another tank top. Wow. <laughs> so many tank tops. Oh, this shirt is super cute. I like that shirt a lot. Eee. Oh, another <laughs> like striped long sleeve shirt. I remember this shirt being in like the very first um, promo type video that they did. And that's what Sophia, Sophie, Sophia or Sophie was wearing. 
Wow, this shirt. <laughs> wow, it's poofy. All right, guys, so what do we want her to wear? I don't know. I'm just going to be so torn. Um, I still want to keep, you know, going for the style that she had before because I really liked it. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then let's see what they have for bottoms. Okay, so those are interesting. I <laughs> don't know what to say about those. Um, oh, they do. I was hoping they would have like a maxi skirt and they do. Oh my gosh, gorgeous patterns too. Wow, that looks like custom content. That's how good it looks. It looks like custom content. Wow, that is so pretty. Can't wait to play. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ripped up jeans. I gotta have them ripped up jeans. I mean, come on now. Of course. Pajama bottoms. Oh my god. Are these like workout pants? They kind of look like sweatpants. <laughs> Underwear. Ooh, frilly. With the fishnets? That just looks so classy. <laughs> Oh, this skirt is so cute, guys. Like I said, I'm going to be like a little fangirl. I'm going to be excited about every little thing because I'm excited about every little thing. <laughs> Those are like shorts, I think. Another skirt. They have a lot of skirts. Oh, that one is super cute. <laughs> Different patterns of these jeans, too. Yep. Ooh, it looks like leather pants. Badass. <laughs> oh, this looks like a little poodle skirt or something. <laughs> a pencil skirt. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys. I don't know what bottoms to give her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at um the full body clothes and see if there's any of those that kind of catch my eye. So this is the digital deluxe content. <laughs> um, if you want to be a hot dog, she can be a hot dog or a clown. Oh, this dress is really cool. I like this dress a lot. That's so pretty. I don't really know what this is for, but it looks really creepy. It kind of looks like a female Grim Reaper or something that they're going for. I don't know. So this is a dress that comes with the base game. Super cute. This is like old lady. This is what, oh, what was her name in the promo videos? It wasn't Agnes, was it? Or I can't remember what her name was, but she was wearing that. This dress is interesting. I don't know about this part right here, but I do like it. Ooh, fancy dress. Purple. I love, love, love this dress so much. I don't know. It reminds me of, like, I don't know. It kind of looks like something a teenager would wear to prom or something. <laughs> I like it, though. This one is super cute. This looks like a nighty. Oh, fancy dress. Oh, the wedding dress is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This wedding dress is beautiful. So beautiful. Ooh, this is like red carpet glam. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, if you want to get frisky at night, that that's the outfit to do it in, right? <laughs> Tracksuit. Another dress. So many dresses, guys. Oh, this outfit's really cute. I like this one a lot. This looks like a bridesmaid's dress. Mm -hmm. I really like this dress too. Oh my god, there are a lot of recolors of this one. I like this one a lot. Huh. This is uh, like a shirt dress. And then another glam dress. Okay guys, so I decided to go with this outfit. I know I really liked the other top, but this one, this whole look reminds me of the look that she had with the custom content. And I really like that look on her. So this is the look she's going for. I think she's super cute. Love her. Can't wait. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and take a look at accessories. Alrighty, so they do have more bracelets, which is always nice. Ooh, is that an eyeball ring? Oh my god, that is so creepy. <laughs> That's really creepy. Oh, these are the leggings. Yes, I love these leggings. They look so cool. Alright, let's go ahead and give her the fishnets back. 
and get her back her normal <laughs> um, rings. Okay. And her normal bracelet. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and look at her shoes. Alright, so they have like these clown shoes that came with Digital Deluxe. Which, why you would want? I don't know. I don't know. But you never know. Alrighty. So... Ooh, they have this ankle boot. It's really cute. I like that a lot. Ah, uh, boots. <laughs> Those are like short high heels. Those are really cute. I still like these though. That's the look I'm going for for her. Those are cute, like wedges. Colorful. And then more slippers. So we're going to go ahead and keep her having these, uh, these shoes. Alright guys, so um, I don't know if I showed you guys her voice before. But that's her voice, and she has the feminine walk. Um, and I don't know if you guys would like to see what children and teens Ooh, and all that look like. I know I said I wouldn't have this whole part being create a sim, but I'll have a part right up after this that will be actual gameplay. Just I want to show you guys everything that create a sim has to offer. So let's go ahead Ooh. and age this person down to a teen. Okay, so teens and adults are the same height. And let's see if there's a difference in their faces. This is a teen face and a young adult face. So the young adult face does look a little bit different. It's a little bit like bigger, I guess you could say. Um, but not too much of a difference, really, to be honest. I'm being honest, guys. I'm being honest. Um, okay. I was going to say, maybe that will make her face look different, but not really. So she is a teen. And we'll go ahead and look at her hair first. All right, let's see. She might have all the same hairstyles as a young adult, though. Let's see. It looks like teens have all the same hairstyles as young adults. Oh, there's also this fro. <laughs> yep, nothing new for teens. So let's go ahead and look at the outfits and see what teens have. Once again, they might have all the same. I'm not really sure. All right, so teens have all the same clothing and hairstyles sure, as you the young adults. And I don't really know how I feel about that, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I was kind of hoping they would have some different things in there, but it doesn't look like it. But can I just say how cute the kids are, especially compared to Sims 3? Sims 3 children were not exactly the most attractive in the world, so... <laughs> okay, so they have a bunch of hats. Oh, the kids can have the animal hat. That is adorable. I could totally, I would, oh my gosh, whenever Peyton has kids, her children will wear <laughs> these hats. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. <laughs> Alright, let's take it off so we can see. So, this is a cute little bun up on top there. Oh, it's like a long braid. It's cute. Whoa. <laughs> it's wild. A ponytail, long hair with bangs, super cute, little pigtails, of course, short hairstyle, this longer one, which is really cute, I like that one a lot, ooh, I like this one too with the side bang, you know me, I love the side bang, and these cornrows, and then the short do, alright, and then we'll go ahead and look at children's outfits, oh, that dress is so pretty, I love how the children look and oh my gosh, their outfits are so cute. <gasps> They're so cute. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really excited, guys. Super cute. Dresses and overalls. <laughs> Alright, and then for tops, a pretty unicorn top, of course. Of course, gotta have that. Jean jacket, this little kitty. I can't wait till they have pets. I'm sure they're going to have a pets expansion pack, and I cannot wait for it at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
leather jacket for a little kid? Wow. Wow. So yeah, super cute clothes for kids. I really like this one, too. Polos, long sleeve. They have a lot of options for children's clothing, which I'm really happy about. So, oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, that's cute, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being obnoxious, guys, but I'm just really excited, okay? Jeans, skirts. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait for Peyton to have kids. I really can't. Mm. Oh my gosh. So cute. Flip flops, of course. <laughs> Alright, and let's go ahead and see. I think adults probably have all the same clothing options. Um, that's what's it, that's what it looks like anyways. Um, and the hair. I believe. Yep, pretty much all the same hairstyles and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and make her an elder. And they might have all the same uh, clothing, too. I don't really know. It looks like it, which I kind of actually like. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if they kind of, I don't know, added different clothing for, you know, teenagers and, and, and adults yeah. and stuff and elders. Yeah. But <sighs> at the same time, elders have always been really neglected Why? in <laughs> the Sims games. So... I kind of like that they'll have a lot of options. If you want grandma to wear this, she can. She can. So, that's good. Um, <laughs> grandma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, all the same clothing and everything. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and delete her. And then we're back to Peyton. Alright, so that is create a sim. Um, I didn't go through everything that the guys have because we can do that another time whenever she meets a man. Alright, so let's go ahead and play. Oh my gosh, this is like, oh, this is crazy. Let's go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and save her to my household though really quick. Um, yeah, because I had to kind of remake her. Alright, let's go ahead and play. Alright, click to change it up, begin playing. Yes. Eek. Oh my gosh. Moving in, your sims need a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek or Oasis Springs. The home you choose offers you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry. You can always visit or move to any of the worlds in The Sims 4. Yes, I love this. So this is the, tu the tutorial, and you can turn it off, I think, in Origin, but I'm keeping it on since, I, like I said, I'm a new player, haven't played yet, so... All right, so there's world selection. Which world you want your sim to live in? Um, so this is Oasis Springs, but I'm thinking... Okay, so this is Oasis Springs, which is the desert town, but I really want them to live in Willow... her to live in Willow Creek. So this looks like the park. Okay, and these are some uh, community lots. Your sim cannot afford this lot. Well... You know how it is. You can't afford... Oh my gosh, I can't afford anything. Alright, so there are only a few starter homes, guys. So, you know, it's going to be slim pickings. And I haven't seen anybody's Let's Plays. I've only... Um, I just wanted to keep it a surprise for myself as I'm playing the game. So, I'm sure I'm going to pick the same house as somebody else already did. But there's three to choose from, guys. So... What can I say? <laughs> Alright, so she has 20,000 simoleons. And there's this place. I don't know if you can preview it or not. I don't want to accidentally have her move in. Okay. No. Alright, so... I guess you can't preview it, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Alright, so this is a one-bedroom, one-bath. One-bedroom, one-bath. Two-bedroom, one-bath. But it looks kind of small. 20 by 15... This is a 30 by 20. This is the most expensive, but I think we're going to go ahead with this one. Um, we will get it unfurnished. She'll have 9,049 simoleons. So we're going to go ahead and get it unfurnished. Oh my gosh. And as you can see, the loading screens 
really are not long at all, guys. They're really, really not. Um, so that's exciting. Taking control. There are so many new features in The Sims 4. Before we get into, before we can get to all of them, we need to cover the basics. First, we'll quickly learn how to control your Sims. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay, we know this. Okay, we we've played Sims games before. Like we know this. All right, hold down the right mouse button to move the mouse to rotate the camera. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. All right, and she looks the same as she did in Create a Sim, which is awesome, because I don't know about you guys, but in The Sims 3, they really didn't. Um, if you don't like the default camera control settings, control shift tab toggle, blah, blah. All right, next. Modify whether the walls are shown. Um, okay. Focus the camera. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. It's easy to focus on the camera on any sim in the household. Click twice on a different sim's portrait. Okay, well, she's the only one there, so. Follow camera. You can follow your sim by clicking on their portrait. We know that. All right, you can pause, speed up, or slow down the game. We all know this. We all know this. Um... So yeah, that's play mode, and oh, look at her, her little phone. <laughs> All right, action cue. So this is where your um, actions cue up. Before, it was up here. So this is going to take some getting used to. All right, so in the order, so this is how you can instruct your sim to do multiple things. Um, so you can go ahead and cancel it like that. All righty. Um, interactions outside inside the box are the ones your sim is currently doing all right multitasking yes we know all right they have minds of their own based on their emotions traits and needs they will make decisions that will surprise delight and sometimes bewilder you oh because of autonomy yes all right Ooh, she's inspired playing with emotions sims can experience an entire range of emotions yes we know that all right, we're going to give your sim an inspired moodlet so they become inspired. This is an emotion that makes your sims better. I love how she looks. Oh my god. Okay, your sim is now inspired. Hover over the emotion to learn about it. Oh, burst of inspiration. Your sim is feeling a sudden burst of inspiration from tutorial. <laughs> okay, whim. Okay, so if your sim has a whim based on their current emotion, whims are the desires of your sims. So these are like wants. She wants to play an instrument. All right. And then they have build and buy mode. Your sim wants to flex their creative muscle by cooking. Does she? No, I don't think she does, but thanks for that. <laughs> she can choose a fridge. So they want to show you how to build a fridge, I guess. All right. Welcome to build mode. Oh my gosh. This is going to take some getting used to, guys. Okay. Okay. So, so they changed it before um the rotating button um was the middle scroll button on your mouse but now it's the right button on your mouse and um now and before to move like across like this it would be the right clicking button but now it's the middle scroll so that's that's gonna take some getting used to guys for me anyway i don't know about you guys but for me it's gonna take some getting used to um but uh, we'll get used to it. So this is the build mode menu. All right. So they have build um, objects by room, objects by function, household inventory, styled rooms. Okay. So this is build mode. All right. Objects by room. You can shop for furniture sorted by room, which we could always do before. And then objects by function. Oh my gosh. I want to look at everything. The search. This is super cool. You type the name of an item, um, like searching for a sofa. And it brings up all of the sofas in the game, which is pretty freaking cool. So items might be stored in the family inventory, especially when moving. Open the household inventory. So she has nothing. <laughs> you can change the visual state of the walls, the floor you're viewing. Um, okay, so these are the camera controls. All right, building rooms. There are so many tools designed to help you build an incredible home 
let's take a quick look at some of these tools. We're going to take a look at some of these tools in the next part, guys. So the next part will be up very, very shortly. Don't worry about it because I'm going to be on a roll recording parts of this all night because I'm so excited. I just want to play, play, play. So I hope you guys like this first part. I know it's kind of slow to get into it, um, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to this to this game and I just can't wait. So if you did like it, go ahead, give it a like, leave a comment and go ahead and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next part. Bye.